friends, welcome to another Star Wars Hasbro Pulse live stream. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us. We always appreciate it and just thankful for the support. So as always, before we dive in, some quick introductions. You probably know a lot of the team already, but just in case, my name is Jang. I'm the brand manager for Star Wars on Hasbro. Hi, I'm Emily, senior product designer on Star Wars for Hasbro. And I'm Eric. I'm a designer for Star Wars on Hasbro. And I'm Chris. I'm design manager. We can't believe it's 2023 already. Um, and it's our first live stream in the new year for Star Wars. So we certainly had a busy year last year. We went to three conventions. We had a few live streams. We'd had uh, Hasbro PulseCon and Hasbro Pulse 1027 event. And a jam-packed Bring Home the Galaxy campaign to round out the year with some amazing reveals. And 2023 is going to be just as exciting. So let's kick off the new year with news that Star Wars Hasbro will be attending London Star Wars Celebration. So this amazing event takes place on April 7th through 10th at London's Excel Center. And tickets are available now. So you can go to Star Wars www.starwarscelebration.com to purchase them. And we're so excited that we're going back to celebration again. Last year was the first time in a long time, and we can't wait to see some of you there. Hope you'll join us. Going back to our main event, our reveals for today, we know that's what you're here to see. And as usual, we have news from both Vintage and Black Series and more. So let's dive right in. Sticking with celebration, we want to kick off today announcing the Celebration exclusive. I'm really excited about this. Eric and team did a great job with it, um, and it is a Black Series figure. So tied to a major anniversary that is happening this year in 2023, that's right, the Star Wars Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary, marking the final 40th anniversary of the original trilogy movies. So it's a really big one for us. We've shared quite a few figures already that was launching as part of this program last year, but we're gonna keep that going. We have more to share. And Star Wars Celebration is a place that we think makes a lot of sense to, to celebrate it. <laughs> Um, this figure is from a poster that originally helped promote the movie. The poster was originally called out as Revenge of the Jedi, which we know was later corrected to Return of the Jedi. So much history and nostalgia there. We love the poster and we wanted to celebrate it. Of course, we're talking about Revenge of the Jedi, Darth Vader. So we had a lot of fun with this one. I have him in my hands, uh, taking inspiration from the original poster. We used the tampo technique as seen on the poster. We, you know, obviously we saw mostly the head on the poster, but we were able to use that to mimic, perfectly mimic the look of the helmet to the rest of the figure itself. And we extrapolated that down to what the rest of the body will look like. Um, the texture from the background of the poster was also used for inspiration for the cape. Maybe a little hard to see in the camera, but you can see that texture in it. We applied the same thing to his lightsaber as well, having some of those red reflections. Well, the camera is making it look a little discolored, but the red reflections from the lightsaber is there. And Darth Vader is molded in a very, very dark red instead of black, again, staying true to the poster. And same thing with the cape, it has that red tint to it, as you guys saw. We just really wanted to throw back to the history of this Return of Jedi figure here. These are some awesome <laughs> awesome action shots from our photographer we love how this pack came out and for the packaging we really you know for celebration packaging is a big deal we actually included the poster in the pack um so you can pull the poster out of the front of the pack like so where you can see the figure in there and on top of that we included a secret display stand at the back of the pack right here. I'm not gonna pull it out right now, um, so I don't ruin it, but it picks up. You can use this display to display the poster as well. And here I have one out of pack, so you can see what it looks like. And the back of pack uses artwork from another early movie poster that picks up that same styling. So it comes full circle. We really wanted to complete the look here. So this item is available for purchase during Star Wars Celebration. So more details to come as we get closer to the event. 
talking about the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi, let's keep that beat going with a few more reveals from for this program for this year. Sticking with the Black Series, we have one more six-inch figure as part of this program. This, it, this one is one that the team has been eagerly awaiting to bring to the fans for a long time. No better time than this year. It's a trooper that we saw in the Battle of Endor, the Black Series Deluxe Endor Commando. So this is a brand new figure. He comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with two blasters, uh, both the short and the long one, the removable backpack, removable bandolier, including a swappable face so that you can get different face for the two different trooper looks. He has the younger face and the older face. Some of you may recognize that older face in the movie. It's one that we really wanted to get into this uh, package. And the face also uh, has a really nice tight fit. It fits nice and snug. And I actually have that figure right here. So get him in there. So this is the younger face. Really, really happy with how that turned out. And the face swaps just like the uh, Hoth Rebel Trooper. So just snaps right in. Now you have the old face. And... Yeah, it, it just fits in there really nice here. Actually, I can push it in even further. There we go. Got rid of that seam. So really, really happy with how that turned out. We took a lot of learnings from that original figure uh, to be able to have here. Uh, he also, um, we spent a lot of time on the camo in particular, lots of paint and deco on this one, especially on his legs. We wanted to make sure to it blended well, you can see here. So this is the camo. We're really happy with how that looks. We feel like it really looks natural and looks just like it popped out of the movie. So um, we wanted to make sure that it blended really well uh, and looks really smooth. And luckily, we had a lot of reference from Lucasfilm, lots of variety in the many troopers that we saw in the movie. As you can see with uh, the images and that figure itself, uh, we were able to build him in a way that stays true to the movie while giving us options for different variations in the future if needed. So for the packaging, here, I have it here. So the uh, card back matches the original vintage card back, although the figure does come with the additional face, which the original did not. Uh, the Endor Commando is a mainline item in the U.S., Canada, and a toy specialist, fan stores, and e-com item in the U.K., Germany, France, Spain, and Italy and will be available uh, summer of this year. Just a note, like all the items revealing today, it will be reveal only, so no pre-orders to announce. So definitely definitely look for them as they show up on shelf. Okay. And we also have reveals for you today from the Hasbro Vintage Collection scale to share as part of the 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi program. So there's a few to share today, and we're going to start with a main character for Star Wars. This is one that we definitely wanted to see updated for this big celebration. A villain who redeems himself in the end. It's Darth Vader. So this was a really unique moment, and it's when Anakin Skywalker reveals himself under the helmet from Return of the Jedi, and he saves his son. That's a touching and a pivotal scene in the movie, and one that just shocked the whole world in that moment. So um, let's check out this toy. I've got it here. Okay, and so this Darth Vader, he is chock full of details, and I think it makes him just a really um, playable toy. So one of the big priorities for us that we wanted to accomplish with this Darth Vader update was the three-part helmet. Now, that is something that had been a bit of a difficulty in the far past for the team to manufacture back when the toys were made, um, sculpted in wax, and so... It was a little difficult for them to create all of those layers of the helmet at such a small scale. So we wanted to create it in, in full detail now that we've got the um, digital sculpture technology advancements. And we're just really excited at the way we've been able to tune it in and pull it off and, and add that level of detail here. So I'll share the layers. You can see here, Darth Vader's helmet looks really nice and complete when it's all together. And then you can remove first the top helm that piece there and underneath he's got the very cool um, face plate piece with its little coppery details. And when you remove that, he's got his portrait underneath as well as the um, neck cowl. So there's that portrait there. So really, really fun layers of detail to that helmet and, and better than we've done it in the past. And obviously you've also noticed he's got his slashed wrist here where he lost the hand. So that one's a really fun, cool movie moment as well. And of course, he also does come with interchangeable 
um, complete hand, as well as you can see there that it's showing off that he's got the um, unlit lightsaber felt as well as his ignited full blade. So this guy's got amazing detail. And let's jump over to the packaging because you can see that all of those little pieces are displayed out in the blister card here. You can see his layers of his helmet. You can see his hand in there. And we're really excited about this package because this is, um, I believe, the first time in the vintage collection that we've done that unhelmeted, um, the actor underneath um, card back image. So that one's a really fun one for us. Just a great Return of the Jedi update to Darth Vader and a pivotal scene from the movie. So this one, yeah, let's. I, oh, I was just going to say, I like love the helmet, the three piece helmet. I know that's not easy to do at that scale, um, but it's so cool that you were able to fit that in, Emily. I love that figure by itself. Yeah, I feel like it's like a three and three quarter achievement unlocked. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, that's a really fun one for us. And we'll move on from there to a next Imperial character from Return of the Jedi as well. So this is a character who received, I think, the most unconventional promotion maybe ever, um, in Empire. So this guy, as Darth Vader force choked his predecessor through the screen, um, he left him with the new promoted title of Admiral Piet. And we're very excited to introduce this guy. This guy is um, really our first new character with the full new officer body. So one of our um, details that we wanted to tackle with this new officer is um, the rank badge. And we went on kind of a journey with it. So some fans may know that when Piet first appeared in Empire Strikes Back, he had a full 12 tile Admiral rank insignia. That's a six over six. However, when he came to Return of the Jedi, there was a behind the scenes costuming mix up. And so now he was wearing his six tile insignia badge again, his three over three, a little bit of a demotion. So we honored that quirky costume detail with this figure and we matched it. And let's check that figure out. I've got him here. So get ready, this is an awesome new officer body. He's just got all the full new articulation detail under his flex skirt. He's got the barbell hips, he's got rocker ankles. He's got a new blaster pistol, blaster pistol sculpt and as well, he's got a removable hat. And it's a really nice little friction grip on there for the removable hat. And you can see his portrait underneath. So stressed out, he's got a really hard job, guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And um, so we just love his film out as well. Let's take a look at the package art. This is a fun film out. It's got that ominous um, Death Star 2 in the background. You know, just trying to pretend like it's just a half finished Death Star, even though it's got a fully operational super laser. So that's a really fun card back and hope you guys enjoy this new officer. Yeah, he's a fun one. And we all know there's some stuff going on on that planet below him in that card back. So we're going to move on to a, well, We'll just say it, a scruffy looking hero. So the character would be great to go to the Endor bunker playset. We revealed as part of Return of the Jedi, and he, he does. So that's just a cool playset. So this figure will continue to build out that scene. That's right, it's Han Solo. If you didn't figure that out from the scruffy looking hero comment, you're probably not a true Star Wars fan. But no judgments if you didn't. Han is a Partial new tool, updated from the waist up. He has new torso, sleeves, and a portrait, as well as a new vest and blaster. It's a super fun and a heroic update for a great character. But one of the things we're most excited to bring to the this update is that character's portrait. So it's been a long time since that's been updated, and we love how that's turned out. I'll try and get you a nice tight shot of that here. Just a really great looking Han Solo portrait there. So super important for this figure for Return of the Jedi. And like I said, to build out that world of the bunker playset. So for the packaging on this, it's the first time this film out's been captured in the vintage collection. It's a super heroic shot of Han shooting from the hip. So great one of our hero there. Another great figure. Uh, next up, we have our final vintage collection reveal. It's a packaging refresh. Uh, recently, we've been really excited to bring back some of the, the goons and denizens from Jabba's Palace. So here we're revealing Wee Kuei. Uh, Wee Kuei, classic Return of the Jedi character. I thought it would be a great refresh, and so many of the Wee Kuei species have been showing up in, in more recent shows like The Mandalorian. And this Wee Kuei warrior comes with his Vibros staff and blaster. And the, the card back matches the original release, so no worries there. Cool look at that. 
Again, all of these vintage 40th anniversary figures will not be available for pre-order. They are mainline figures in the U.S. and Canada and will be available in toy specialists, fan stores, and by e in the U.K., Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. They're all hitting the shelves summer of 2023. And uh, so those are some great figures uh, from Return of the Jedi 40th. We actually have one more reveal for this program at the very end, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we're moving on to another program. As you all know, Return of the Jedi 40th is not only the celebration is not the only celebration we have this year. Uh, that's right. Uh, 2023 also marks the 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars. Uh, so we have so much to talk about uh, this year. Uh, it's another beat that we're extremely excited about, especially since there are so many Clone Wars fans uh, here on the Star Wars team. We have a reveal from the Black Series collection. Uh, Clone Wars introduced some exciting group of troopers to us, the ARC Troopers. Uh, this particular one is a member of the 501st. He had a role in the Clone Wars season finale, direct confrontation with Ahsoka herself. Revealing today, it's ARC Trooper Jesse. So this is a redeco of our ARC Trooper. It uses the bald-headed clone, uh, obviously staying close to the original reference and, and character. We made sure that we had consistency in the blue, not only with other ARC Troopers in the Black Series, but also in the Vintage Collection. So making sure that we have consistency in that 501st blue, uh, especially for the ARC Troopers. He comes with a removable helmet and two blasters. And for the packaging, uh, we reference Clone Wars Season 7 in the illustration on the side of the pack, and it's number 12 in the Clone Wars lineup. Art Trooper Jesse is a Walmart exclusive in the U.S. and Canada, and a fan store exclusive in the U.K., Germany, France, Spain, and Italy, and it'll be on shelf uh, summer of 2023. Of all the reveals today, this one uh, will actually have a pre-order for the U.S. As you might have heard, Walmart Collector Con is happening March 16th through the 17th, and this item will be pre-ordered at their event on March 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to hear more directly from Walmart uh, as we get closer to that date. And then taking a slight detour, Clone Wars is so amazing that it's continued to inspire a bunch of different shows and movies. Uh, so we did want to take a beat to talk about the movies and shows that are related to the Clone Wars universe. Continuing on with the Black Series, we have another reveal today in the Black Series line that is related to the Clone Wars 20th anniversary. It's not a part of it, but it's part of the trilogy that's part of that era. So, of course, I'm talking about the prequels here. This item is one we pipelined in the past in an alien Jedi that we saw in Episode 2, as well as Clone Wars. Uh, but this appearance is his live-action version. Revealing, Kiati Mundi. So, Kiati Mundi is a completely newly told figure. It's always good to get another version of Jedi out there, especially a Jedi Master in the line. Uh, he comes with his uh, lightsaber. You can clip his hilt onto his belt, similar to other Jedis we've done in the Black Series, with that removable blade. Um, he has a soft PVC on his outfit so that he can flex out of the way for greater possibility, and it sits really nicely against all the other Jedi Masters we've done in the past. This item is a little bit further out, so not revealing the packaging today. Uh, it is a shared fan exclusive in the U.S. and Canada, and European availability to be confirmed at a later date. And it'll be on shelf uh, spring of 2024. So jumping back into the vintage collection, we've got another fun little detour, a refresh item for you. This time from a series that came out of the Clone Wars, which is the Bad Batch. And this is an update for C Clone Captain Hauser. So this one was a trooper that we saw in the Bad Batch animated series, and we moved pretty quickly on creating him for a multi-pack. Um, but interesting development, his name was changed during the development of the show, a little bit of a surprise to us. So we're fresh, refreshing this guy with his final show name, which is Clone Captain Hauser. And um, I can share the, the before and after on that package here. You'll see previously released as Clone Captain Ballast on the name pill there but now released as Clone Captain Hauser. A little update, so we've got his real name. And um, this is a great figure. I think this one comes with such interesting weathering detail. Um, I can share the figure here. He's got a lot of like silver deco that's weathered over the armor, as well as just like chipping that's there in the blue shapes on his armor. And if you take his helmet off, I think this one's fun because he comes with a unique hair and head sculpt. He's got that kind of shaved sides on his head. Get a little close-up action. And so this one's a really fun guy. Add some diversity to your troops. And you can pick up the true clone Captain Hauser soon. 
This one will be a mainline item in the US and Canada and a toy specialist fan stores and e-com item in the UK, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy, available on the shelves summer of 2023. So let's move on to another show. This one is a reveal of a figure which originally came from the Clone Wars first, and that is a reveal for the Vintage Collection, a trooper that was mass produced on the planet of Kamino, the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. So our team is so thrilled to see a clone trooper that was represented in live action on the Andor show. And by basing this figure off of the reference from the live action actors, we were able to make this trooper even more proportionate than ever before, realistic style to the body. He's a really good one, guys. And let's bring out that model and that figure. Check him out. New clone trooper. I'm really excited about this one. He does have all the latest articulation. He's got the barbell hips. He's got rocker ankles. We've done some cool tricks here to make the um, edges of the armor kind of even cleaner in the deco than they've been in the past, between the black and the white areas. He does have a removable helmet with the clone portrait underneath. You can see that there. Just a super fun one, guys. We're very excited for him. Um, yeah, really good update to the clones. He comes with his blaster and his heavy blaster as well. And we're um, very excited for the, the card back. So this one, he's got, as you can see, a card back from Andor where he appeared live action. And I think this is such a great film out here. It's got all of the, you know, really close up detail of the clone armor on it. Very cool one coming soon. All right. And so this Phase 2 Clone Trooper is a mainline item in the U.S. and Canada. He's a toy specialist, fan stores, an e-commerce item in U.K., Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. And he's got no pre-order, but he will be available on shelves summer of 2023. Okay. And now that we have this brand new Clone Trooper body, we immediately wanted to have some fun with redecoing it. You can't blame us. We promise not to abuse our powers. So um, we're bringing out a, a faction that we haven't updated in quite a while in the Vintage Collection, and that is the 212th Battalion Trooper. And we're bringing that out as a troop building pack. But these troopers make use of the newest clone body that we just announced, and they've got this amazing orange coloring with triangular patterning all across their armor. As with our past trooper packs, we normally create one higher ranking leader of, of the team, and for this pack, that is Lieutenant Waxer. So let's take a look at these figures. Here is our, let's do this one. Here is our clone trooper 212th. All of this awesome, I love the sharp geometric details across this armor and especially that triangular shape across the helmet there. Just really sharp. And as well, we can take a look at Lieutenant Waxer. He's my fave. Okay. So this was such a cool character in the Clone Wars. You know, he had an amazing story, which had a very dramatic end to it, but his story is really reflected on his armor in a great way. So you can see a little, um, let me get that centered for you, a little icon there on the helmet of the little Twilight girl that he rescued in Clone Wars. And it's right there. And then on the sides and even across his shoulder over here, he's got the ticks from all of his sort of victories in battle. And I love this little bit in the back. He's got a little battle droid icon. He's just really celebrating all of his achievements in battle right on his armor. So great troop building pack. This one's going to build sort of an automatic army for your shelf. And uh, it comes with a package, which is our classic troop building packaging with that pop of orange color, instant army. So this one is a Pulse and Shop Disney exclusive in the US. It will be carried at Hasbro Pulse in UK, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. And it's available for sale summer of this year. That's awesome. It's so many Clone Wars things to help celebrate that anniversary. I love it. But moving on, we want to talk about some other shows that we haven't touched on yet in this stream, some other media even. So we have two popular, well-known characters from the Star Wars galaxy. And first, sticking with the vintage collection, we have a refresh from the expanded universe. This figure is of a great character. Checking in from Star Wars Gaming, it's VC-100 Starkiller. That's right. So this was celebrated as the 100th vintage collection figure, which is very cool on its own. But this character is amazing with his force powers, just as seen in the game, the Star Wars, the Force Unleashed. This figure comes with a ton of accessories. So you see him here in kind of his basic outfit, a couple of the sabers going on. But he also comes with all the gear to, to dress him out in alternate looks. So I've got some of those pieces here. So many little tiny things that Emily and the team have, have gotten in here. So just 
handfuls of, of bits and pieces for this guy. It's great. Um, so ton of that stuff for the whole second costume variant. Uh, and then for packaging, it matches the original release of the figure. And I got a quick look at that here. So this is a mainline figure in the U.S. and Canada and will be available at toy specialists and fan stores and by e-com in the U.K., Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. I think you've heard us say that a few times today. Available on shelves spring of 2023. All right, and of course, we haven't talked about the Mandalorian yet for this live stream. What live stream would be complete without some Mandalorian? So for retro, we'll go over there. We'll cover both quickly with this next reveal. Uh, that's right, introducing the Mandalorian himself in the prototype edition from the retro collection. So I love this figure, it's super fun. I like the, the prototype stuff we do with all the different color variations. And this one, like our previous prototype editions, will come in six different color variations of the, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, just like we've done before. This one is unique in that each variation of the Mandalorian here comes with a gray cape, which is different from the original release. And something that's that's near and dear to my heart is a is a true Kenner fan is the the blasters this time. We wanted to do something special there. So Mando's blasters this time are in that classic Kenner blue, where they in their initial release they were in the black. So such a great one. Uh, we love the packaging for these prototype edition figures. You see some of that here on screen. It's it's great. The the foil background and just celebrating all those great colors, the pop art inspired, all the, the fun look just going on all over the place there. The prototype edition Mandalorian is a Target exclusive in the US, Toys R Us in Canada, and through fan stores in the UK, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy, and will be available on shelf spring of 2023. That's a lot of figures for the day. Moving on to our last reveal though, we started this live stream with reveals from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. And as promised, there was one more reveal from the program and we held it here to the end. It's a big one, literally and figuratively. So we wanted to circle back and end today with this reveal from the 40th. It's a role play item from the Black Series line, a helmet that the team has wanted to do for such a long time. And with it being the 40th, there couldn't be a better time to do this from a trooper that gave us some of the best action scenes in Return of the Jedi and a character that continues to be relevant to this day in new shows. It's the Scout Trooper Premium Electronic Helmet. This helmet is amazing. Lee, our designer, did such a great job on this with the team. The helmet, like our other trooper helmets, has a voice changer feature in it, full interior with soft pads. All right, we love this helmet and I've got this thing in hand. I can show it to you here. So one of the great features about this helmet is the ability for the, the whole front of the helmet to hinge up, just like in you've seen it in Rebels, you've seen it in, in live action, you've seen it all over the place. This helmet, so great. All this detail, even the, the battery compartment on the back, we did a really nice job, team did, of hiding that in there with a secret little tab switch to, to get that open. So little icons on the side. Just just a beautiful piece, and for the 40th, it's it's just the absolute right helmet to do, and we, like I said at the beginning, we've all wanted to do this helmet for so long, and, and now we have, so hope you will all enjoy it. Um, it. For packaging, it's our first helmet from Return of the Jedi in the Black Series, so with that line look, we, we took the color from all the figures, that green, so it matches the line look of other Black Series items. And, and just as always, the team, the renders on those packaging images, all the artwork, just beautiful stuff. So a great one fitting right in there. So the mainline item in the US and Canada, and if you're in the UK, Germany, France, Spain, or Italy, it'll be available at toy specialists, fan stores, and through Ecom. It's available summer later this year. That one's such a cool one. I know it was not an easy feat for Lee and team to do that hinging plate. It definitely was new territory for us, but uh, it looks awesome. Um, I'm so glad we were, get, we were able to get that one out. All right, so moving on, like Chris said, there was a lot of figures, there was a lot of reveals. So our final segment of today's reveals 
is the pipeline reveals. Um, as always, friendly reminder, we're sharing really early sneak peeks. We know fans like to know ahead of time, but some figures may not be available until later. Um, and so actual figure timing and details will follow and share and be shared at a later date. I'm going to start today with the retro collection. We got a few questions whether or not we would have more retro this year, and absolutely, we're going to share some right now. Uh, we're sharing exciting wave tied to the Book of Boba Fett Entertainment. Of course, starting with the hero himself, Boba Fett, in his Tuscan outfit. Boba Fett encounters many people in his journeys throughout the show, so there are quite a few characters to dig into here for this wave. So we're going to go through them fast. We're pipelining the Tuscan Raider, of course, Fennec Shand, with Chrysanthemum. What a what a main character! We love to see him. We also had Cad Bane, and then a refresh of Jedi Luke, and finally Grogu in his little backpack. And of course, a hero in his own right. We have Mando himself that made a cameo in the show. So what a power wave of characters. We're really excited about this wave for us. And of course, of course, we have Chris here having too much fun over there. Looking good. <laughs> Killing it. All right. And moving on to our vintage collection. Of course, we have to continue the love with vintage. So we're sharing some upcoming great figures in our pipeline. From Book of Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker in training gear. Following that from a different show, an immediately iconic duel, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi and battle damaged Darth Vader in a two-pack. And from the world of vehicles, we have the Vintage Collection Speeder from The Mandalorian. And finally, another vehicle, and this is a big one. We know everybody's waiting for it. We've seen you asking for it. It's the Vintage Collection Mandalorian in one Starfighter. Yeah, so uh, we had a lot, lot to pipeline today, uh, including from the Black Series. We have a few items here as well. Uh, build a pack from the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, we have the Luke and Grogu build up pack. Uh, it was such an iconic and nostalgic scene, so it was. Uh, we had to get this one uh, in the line. And also one more from the gaming from gaming this time. This is one that I am personally extremely excited about. It is the Black Series Deluxe Darth Malgus from the Old Republic video game. And finally, we do want to close it out with a role play pipeline as well. Super excited about this one as well. Did I mention that we have a few big fans of Clone Wars here? Uh, so sharing the Ahsoka Loyalist helmet. Those are a powerhouse of pipelines. I hope you guys are as excited as we are. We can't wait to share you, share with you some images and more details at a future date. Um, but those are amazing. Um, and so we we hope you enjoyed also the other all the other reveals that we shared with you today and as always we thank you fans for tuning in to the hasbro pulse star wars live stream we greatly appreciate it we know everyone's so busy but we love the chance to talk with you and share with you we can't wait to show you what we have what else we have in store for 2023 and again next time we will be at celebration so we can't wait to see some of you there and chat with you as well all right, team, Eric, you're having, and Chris, you're having way too much fun over there with your helmet. Um, bye, everyone. Bye. May the force be with you. Bye-bye. May the force be with you. Oh, yeah.